Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your general tarot reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising Sign. <clears throat> I hope you are Sagittarius. Four cards on the left represent the general energies of the month. We have Strength, Queen of Cups, King of Swords and the Devil. In the centre, the overriding energy of the month, which is the Magician. Top two cards on the right hand side represent love, romance and relationships and it can be general relationships. And bottom two cards on the right hand side represent career and finances. Though just take it for granted that the energies can overlap, the cards will say what they want to say. So let's talk. You have two, two magicians. And this is basically saying you have the opportunity the talent, the ability to change your world and transform it for the better. And you see on the table he has the, the cups energy, the pentacles energy, the swords and also the wands. This is saying that you have the skills to be true to yourself and to change your life and use the abilities you were given to transform it for the better. It could be life experiences, it could be gifts from the universe that you were born with, and it's mixing them all up to actually transform your life and move it forward. And the magician appears when Sometimes when you're at a crossroads in life and you kind of like think, am I good enough? Have I got what it takes? Is this going to be successful? Am I better just leaving it and staying where I am? And that's what the devil energy is representing. It's your doubting. It's a false state of mind. And this month, in all aspects of life, where you feel that you're negative, um, where you feel you're not good enough, where other people, I mean, it can be other people are making you feel less than Sagittarius, believe in yourself, believe in your abilities to transform the situation because you're so talented. You're so talented and that's what the Magician card is saying. You have all the talent and the ability to change your situation and make your life better in the material sense, in the emotional sense and move on from this negative energy. So whatever situation you find in yourself in Sagittarius, just believe, and I would say believe in your abilities this month and keep that focused in your mind. Now let's talk about the devil energy and I will get this card as well. The devil can represent a false, um, <clears throat> a false state of mind, a false situation. You could be being deceived by somebody. It could be people who... It could be, they could be jealous of you, they could be threatened by your ability, as in the magician. Um, they could be fearful of you for whatever reason. <clears throat> and they want to keep you in this situation, they want to keep you chained. And you see these two people here, they could quite easily loosen, loosen the chains. They could quite easily walk away from the situation. So it says... You have a choice and this situation can be partly of your own making. You might not be able to do anything about the situation happening, Sagittarius, but you can certainly do something about how you will allow it to affect you. And the longer these people stay with the devil energy, this negative energy, this state of negativity, this state of despair and distress, upset, worry, the more like the devil they become. So move away from this energy, move away from what doesn't serve you and believe in your abilities, no matter what other people tell you, no matter what the situation 
is Sagittarius. This is where you have to step up to the plate and be strong. And <clears throat> why do I say that? Well, you've got the strength card. And the strength card is, is saying, face your fears. You're strong enough to see this through. You're strong enough to deal with this. You're strong enough to overcome it. And I quite like the, the, the Queen of Cups next to this card because this maiden tamed the beast. It is metaphorical, but she tamed the beast in this card through love, through gentle nature. And that's what the Queen of Cups is saying. It's saying, believe in your abilities, but do it from the heart. Don't let this situation of the devil close off your heart um, to new possibilities because it is that that will bring you success in the end. That enables the magician energy to reach you. And it is a kind of state of mind. It's saying, move. Move from this state of mind to this state of mind. And this, the Queen of Cups, she has like choppy waters all around her but she has a balanced internal emotional energy and she's balanced with the external world as well so she's found a balance through experience and that's what you need to do Sagittarius you need to move away from this state of mind for those that it applies to and move to that belief that self-confidence that comes from within that emotional filament that comes from believing in yourself, believing what you're doing is right regardless of the situation or what other people say. And you have the real strength to do that this month. You have the strength to face your fears and to deal with them, to eliminate them. And why do I say eliminate them? Well, you've got the Queen of Swords, you've got the King of Swords below. The King of Swords stands for logic, reason, he's fair, he's a cold energy, he's not very emotional. But he doesn't take forward that which doesn't serve him, he cuts them out. And the swords stand for swords of truth. And you need to see the truth of this situation this month, Sagittarius, to move forward and cut out anything that doesn't serve you because the the queen and the king talk of success there's real successful energies there's strong energies there's energy of experience and it could be people that might be helping you in a situation as well so move forward and believe in yourself Sagittarius now the Five of Swords, the Five of Swords can be about, <clears throat> it is again this negative energy, it can be about um, a hard fought battle and this man has won, but he's won at a price and it's cost him dearly in terms of relationships and the friendship of other people. But I kind of feel this is also about you saying, can I do it? Have I got it within me to see this through? Can I see this through to the completion? And next to the devil energy, the devil energy is, is reinforcing this card. Fives can be about instability as well, making you feel unstable, but it's a false mindset it's not who you are it's not you know you can cope with anything that's thrown at you uh, Sagittarius and that's what this is saying that's what the magician is saying whatever challenge that you have you have the power in your hands to transform it and you've been given a gifts by the heavens the magician reaches his right up right hand up to the heavens so he's He's manifesting energies from the heavens as well as from the earth. 
And it is about using your the abilities, the innate abilities that you were born with, that you were gifted with from the universe. And also, it, it, you know, using your experience as well. So this situation, whether it's regarding relationships, it could be general relationships, it could be a personal relationship, it could be um, a situation that you need to move away from because it's making you unstable. And the Queen of Cups and the King of Swords is saying you have everything to be stable about, you have the strength to see this through. So why are you letting other people challenge you on that? And you will see the truth of a situation. There is truth. There's truths in the Five of Swords. You know, the swords stand for truth and clarity. So see the situation for what it is and deal with it and realise it's, it's not that big that you can't deal with it. You have the strength to deal with it this month. And again, if you do, on the business and career front, you will transform your life and you'll be gifted by the universe with material rewards, with a new beginning, with a new start, a new path. You see the path and the open, the open, it's almost like an open door to your new future. It promises abundance and stability. And that's what you need in your life now, Sagittarius. So move away from negative and cut out that which doesn't serve you. Cut out people who are negative towards you. Don't stand for it anymore. And move towards your future in a positive way. Because real success is promised to you. Real financial abundance. And this is true. This is something that's, that's delivered out of your innate and abilities or experience. This is something that you've manufactured from nothing. This is something that only you know how to do to bring success to your life. And you don't underestimate your abilities or talents for really turning your life around and making it as successful as it can be. This is a beautiful, beautiful card and it's very powerful because it's gifted by the universe. So the universal energies are saying, move towards that fresh start, move towards a fresh way of looking at things and transform into the person that you're meant to be. Okay, I think that's everything, Sagittarius. If you enjoyed the reading, please do like, share and subscribe. And I hope September is an amazing month for you. Thank you so much.